Hit it. Oh, fuck. Welcome to the official Butthole Podcast, bringing you movies, video games, and randomness in between. Now bringing your host, Scott, the Great Brandino, Gage's Rage, and Star Lamar. The only good episode. <laughs> For real. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Butthole. Thank you for tuning in to episode 186. Six. I was getting there, dude. I was pausing Six. for dramatic effects. Six. Six. Uh, brought to you by... Six. 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 <laughs> I love six. No, that's not what we're brought to you by. We're brought no. to you by the Blue Collar Media Group. All right, so this is a bit episode, and I kind of want to throw it back Ooh. to one that we had. Episode that's, 114. That's episode 114, where we talked Jeez. about adrenochrome. Some conspiracies. Oh, shit. And I, Star Lamar, was a little hesitant. I was kind of playing devil's advocate, but Gage did bring up a lot of really good points. I'm sorry. Could you say that one more time? I was not listening. Gage brought up a lot of really good points, some very damning evidence about Chrissy Teigen. Are you trying to bookmark this here? Yeah, I got to record that and give it to my mom. And so I didn't believe it at first, but he showed me all of these tweets by Chrissy Teigen saying how she likes to eat pizza and stuff like that. And obviously, after you see that, you know she's a pedophile. No, it was the waking up with so pizza this, on your chest. This brings us sauce to the a conversation sauce. that I read earlier today while I was working. I'm sitting there, you know, the phone keeps going off because a lot of these guys just text while I'm at work. And I, I notice there's a lot of conversation about pizza going on. I'm like, what the fuck? I, I know what this means now. I'm not out of the loop anymore. And so we're going to dissect a couple of these gauge Texts. What? My texts? No. Out, of, out of context, text messages. Uh, you were talking about one. tweets. You're the one who taught me this, Gage. So what is, what's a crushed pizza? What do you think Gage was talking about? What's crushed pizza mean? Oh, that's and, fucking real dirty, dude. Yeah. Uh, I don't think actually, dude. I learned how to use the iPhone. So what is that crushed pizza? Pe- that, that's a reply, direct reply. Hey, Chrissy to Teigen, didn't, right Chrissy Teigen couldn't defend herself. Yeah, she wasn't Neither replying. You. She just tweeted to the world, I woke up with a fucking pizza on my chest. You sound like you haven't ass. got any crushed pizza in a long time. I had crushed pizza last night. Oh. There Whoa. You just, Whoa, what does that mean? Did you know it that It wasn't delivery. They have seven different crusts. Did you know that? That's it also so bomb. what is that supposed what, to mean? Yeah, like what, the type seven of, di- what type of crusts of these pizzas are you talking about? Are you There's talking seven about continents? I have seven no idea. Ooh, I woke maybe. up from a nap. That could be that depending on what continent. I woke up from a nap. From? There wasn't pizza on my chest. There was pizza in my group chat, and I didn't start it. Was there so pizza? if you're going to slander my name live right now, Star. He says the croissant crust looks best to him. Oh, my Christ. Was he European? You We're like having European pizza box right next to us, croissant crust. Europeans. All right, and this one we kind of have to dive a little deeper into because I don't... He says... Hey, stop scratching the top of your head. You're going to go bald I, faster. I don't even give a fuck. He says... <laughs> Trust me, I have first-hand experience. Pizzazz, which I don't know what that means, but a smart person would <laughs> oh think it's his penis. And he says, the pizzazz works for thick crust and stuffed. Oh, Jesus. You just need to play with the settings a bit. Which doesn't sound good. This is the official Gage's Rage Adrenochrome podcast. I'm sorry, which doesn't sound good? Is it, Are you adding that, or was that in the text message, Which star? doesn't sound good, and then it cuts off. Bullshit. I'm a bad the texter. The pizzazz does work <laughs> for thick crust and I'm a bad stuff. texter. You just need to play with the settings a bit. So, I'm, I think he's talking about his crank, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on that. That is kind of... He's just calling it a pizzazz. What did he say about the pizzazz again? Start that over. I'm going to dissect the this. The piz- pizzazz does work for thick crust and stuff. Dude, this you is just bad. Need to play I'm going to quit. I am going to leave right now. This is such bullshit. And I, I'm just, you called me before this podcast, and I feel offended that this was not brought up. This is a coup against Gage's Rage. What the fuck do you mean this wasn't brought up? Nobody, I didn't have a clue this was going to happen. No idea. Sometimes you just got to deep dive your group chats, and you find Bull these things. Bullshit. And it makes me sick. 
Yeah, because you're, I just, you know, when I wake up and I see fucking 30 messages, I don't read through and try and throw my friends on the bus for one of fucking frozen pizza. What I do is I ignore them and move on with my life. God damn it. Your comments about the pizzazz make me sick. The pizzazz is the ultimate machine. It's the greatest invention ever made. <laughs> we don't need to talk about your penis on this show anymore. Gage, you telling us that the pizzazz works for a croissant and stuffed crust pizza makes me sick. You have to throw it on low. You have to cook it on low. I don't want to know what you do with First, your fucking pizza. for 10 to 15 minutes, and then switch it to dual so it cooks out the top and the bottom. It's a <laughs> bitch to work with, Star. It takes time. Gage's- the DiGiorno doesn't work on the pizzazz very well. you got to play with it. you got to be monitoring it, which we can't do when we're recording podcasts. And speaking of monitoring, that's all you need to do. You need to monitor the internet, look for anyone talking about pizza, and normally if people talk about pizza... No matter what the context is, according to Gage, it's Shut pedophilia. Oh my god, start. I'm totally blindsided by this, so I'm not prepared. <laughs> so, oh no, Gage. This is bad. I'll, I'll keep people updated on any more pizza texts that I read. Okay, I think, Star, you've, you've shown yourself well. I think we should make you the official behind the lines uh the undercover like, pizza, the pizza yeah, gate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Shut the hell up. Democrats you probably want me to throw a dump. Yeah, they're a part of it. It makes me sick. <laughs> That's Star. That is Star. <laughs> you made that TikTok. Sick. Yeah, Gage is part of it. It makes me sick. <laughs> Star Lamar is the official butthole behind the lines. Pizza gate. Um, connoisseur. No, no, no. Deep. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not connoisseur. I mean, I just special dive, investigator would you call dive him, deep for would, butthole. Would you call him the croissant of Pizzagate? That's Star. I don't. I don't even know what that means. I got to do more no, no, research. No. Star, are you you're willing to to dive deep into the butthole? Yep. All right, Star Lamar, he's on for the butthole. Yeah, for the butthole. We'll well, we'll catch these people. And sometimes you got to keep your friends close and your enemies. Closer. Buttery crust. <laughs> Gage is so frazzled right now. I fucking hate Star Lamar. <laughs> I cannot wait to dominate your ass in the Madden League. Ooh. And whoa, whoa, whoa. It, it really quick. does happen. I just, this is 100 bad days. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. This is 100. You will be my pizza. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is gonna, This is 100 so bad days. <laughs> Story. But. It, it, yeah, I'm going to stuff your crust. It's pretty quick. It just made me really geek the fuck out. That so I'm texting my brother thick. today. And a mutual friend of ours, he comes to find out that mm. last night was making food in the oven, absolutely zooted out of his gourd, and somehow his wallet ended up in the oven while he was making food, and he completely fucking melted his entire wallet. And destroyed your oven. It wasn't my oven. Is it was his oven. Well, yeah, does, but... Does the butthole know this guy? Uh, I don't care to disclose on... What, my... was, what was he cooking? <laughs> It doesn't matter. You what was, was he cooking? Was it, what was it? Could have been pizza. Ooh, that's what I was thinking. Could have been pizza. Star Lamar, you got another lead here. You might want to check that out. I do, and I'll get some I don't even feel after bad the now. show, since you don't want to say it on air. Yeah, I'll go off the record. The entire wallet. Does entire. leather melt? Uh, like if no. it was a genuine leather? I don't think it would, but all the plastic in it would. It just Yeah, all the cards and shit. Leather won't melt? Nope. No. It'll, it'll like shrivel and... Really? Dry out, yeah. Even in a fire? Yeah. Never have a leather wallet. So this motherfucker so. zooted out of his gourd, ends up leaving his wallet and in the oven. you zooted. What does zooted mean? Like zoot, scoot, and boogied. Like fucked up. Okay. Can getting... I get the word of origin? In the country of origin? Can, is it a noun? That's America. That's got to be America. If you look up zooted on that can uh, be Urban our, Dictionary. Our word I know the zoot was the uh, stuff you'd collect back in um, Pokemon Sapphire. And there's a zoot loot, suit. And that's in so, zoot war suit. zone. Here's zooted. Extremely dysfunctional due to the use of alcohol or drugs. High or drunk to the point of being barely able to think. So that's a real word. Shit, that's a, uh, totally accurate. Yeah, it, I'm bringing 2021. Butthole word of 2021. Zooted. Of the whole year? I mean, the entire year. Early to kind I'd of say it's that's cap, episode cap 186. Alert. Cap. No, I'm saying let's, I'm saying <laughs> let's bring zooted. Straight, let's cap, make bro. zooted. Cap detected. Zooted and finger fights. Fingernail fights. 2021 is going to be the year of fingernail fights and getting zooted. <laughs> zooted fingernail and fights. Little does everybody know, getting zooted can lead to fingernail fights. It does. So it does. 
that's actually the origin. Yeah. <laughs> that is the country of origin. Yeah. Scott's house. Scott's house. <laughs> so from now on, we're not going to hang out and get a few drinks together. We're going to fucking get zooted. And we might fingernail fight. Did it ruin the dish he was making? Or was he still able to eat? You know, I didn't get a lot of info on it because I was too busy it, laughing. So he ate. Yeah. But credit cards melted. Wallet melted. That's ID? a fucking hundred bad days situation. ID? Sure. Darn. Everything in a wallet. What's the uh, dumbest thing you guys have ever done with your wallet slash credit cards or anything? Left Leave it my in. social security card in there. Uh, I've <laughs> left my wallet. In. I let my wallet go through the wash a few times. It's not a fucking... Leather also, if it goes through water, absorbs the water and gets super fucking swuffy. Yeah. yeah. Loaded. Does not come back. Yep. So I, uh, after a late night in college, actually it was the next night, it's a Sunday, I ordered pizza, went to go pick it up, pulled my wallet out. What does that my mean, cards, Star? You know what that means. Dominoes, baby. Making them all fall. So I go to pick up my food. And I pull out, <laughs> pull out my wallet. And my card's gone. So I'm thinking, oh, I left it at the bar. I don't know what the hell I did. And the so FBI showed up. I apologized to the, the restaurant. <laughs> and Chrissy Teigen showed up. And I called the bar I was at and asked them if they had it. Because now I'm panicking that I don't have that. I don't know if it was stolen or something like that. I, on a hunch, just pick up the pants I was wearing the night before. I folded my card flat in half and shoved it in my back pocket <laughs> like it was my wallet. So I think I was a bit zooted that night. That's an Just completely way to folded in half like it was my complete wallet and put it in my back pocket. Was the card still good? I, I've, I've got my food with it, yeah. <laughs> I went back up there and I said, hey, I found it. Just unfolded it and slid it. Like... Twenty dollars that you just put in your pocket. Exactly. Oh, fuck. I mean, not like, a worse... It's probably not easy to fold it in half, but it had, it was creased. Ah, dude, with drunk strength, it's easy. Oh, why is my wallet not closing? <laughs> God, damn, this is so annoying. I want my pizza. That was the next night. I was getting a little panicky, but luckily I was just a dumbass. I didn't lose it. And you put your pant. You so you put your pants back on, and you found it in there. No, I was just Check looking everywhere. You were panicking a little bit. Yeah, I'm how to be like, flat had you smushed that for? It's an like out of your pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't see a little teepee of jeans. Well, I let's can't. be real though. You probably folded it, put it in your pocket, and then you, I'm sure you sat down somewhere. Yeah, I probably sat and flattened it. Yep. I don't even know if you can fold a piece of paper and it doesn't like <laughs> pop back out. Let alone a plastic card, oh, debit no. card. <laughs> it happens. Is that the first thing? Okay, so let's say, being we're talking about getting zooted. You're super zooted. You wake up the next morning. Is that the first thing everybody here does is checks to make sure you got your phone wallet keys? Ah, uh, make sure my daughter's okay. Oh, but God. Some people have different Makes priorities. Makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> Not 100% no, uh, phone and wallet. And it, that's if I don't remember the night before. Yeah. yeah, Ma- yeah. Majority, vast majority of mornings, I just Nothing. wake up and I'm fine. I could give a fuck less. I need food in my belly. You don't give a fuck about anything? No. <laughs> Gage gets That'll to all the, shake out. He gets to the diner out. and he's like, oh, fuck. Where's my wallet? <laughs> Looks like it's going to be another dine and dash, boys. Well, and I, okay, I'll say this. If you're talking about just wallet uh, sins, I kind of always carry way too many cards. Like, I have every fucking, every single casino card I ever signed up for in my wallet at all times. Well, you never know. So it's always like, you know, an inch and a half too thick. <laughs> Yeah. So then, what about your other wallet? Like your I don't have a, <laughs> This is my actual wallet, and I just keep it in my like, like said, breast pockets, and uh, you know, coat not, pockets. You said it's an up inch your and a half. No, and if I if I wear it in pants, it's like I'll wear it in the cargo pocket or the front pockets. I'm not yeah. back pocket, so I notice if my wallet's not with me. I yeah. don't carry a wallet. I just have my cards in my pocket. Really? Yeah. You have like a holder for it? Yeah, my pocket. What pocket? Front right? <laughs> front left? Don't, don't, one. don't. I mean, what about... Um, you have to unzip human pocket. <laughs> That'll be $5. All right, hang on. Well, I found this pair of underwear <laughs> online. I saw it on a Facebook ad, and there's actually a cargo area in your underwear for your balls. So that's where I put it. That's great for you, because you don't even use that area. I don't. Zing. Don't need to. All right, pizza Get roasted, boy. bitch. All right, I'm on fire. We better get into my bad day. All right, here we go. Gage's bad day. So we are in the Madden League. We enter season two. Oh, then this is two. bad days. No, I beat the computer. I'm having a great day rolling into the, my first human matchup. What's your level of confidence coming into the week two matchup versus Scott? That's you. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> I would say my confidence was just about 50-50. I know we split last season. You had the home game, so you were hosting the server, which is definitely an advantage. And you were also... That's fair. Kind of chirping a little bit. You were you were confident you were going to win. What was your level of confidence? My level of confidence in beating you was... I was like 66. I, I was like two out two of three games I'll win this, this game. Like... I knew that if I played the game I'm capable of playing, Better I had play a good one more chance. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Teaser alert. So, we will play again. That will happen. Yep. And that's going to be my game because I'm hosting it. It's not till towards the end of the season, though. It, which matters way more. It's like week 14. So, Scott plays. We're in the first game, and we are absolutely dominating. We're rolling down the field. Oh, sorry. Scott was. Scott was absolutely whooping my ass. I think the score was 30 to 0 where I picked off a two-point attempt and took it to the house for the first score of the game. 30 to 2. 30 to 2. And I, I ended up making a couple good scores and made it closer. It ended up like 24-40ish. There's a few minutes left in the fourth quarter and, and Scott beef. gets nailed with the excessive grieving hack that we've all complained about. Did you guys replay? Honestly, based on the previous podcast, I would think that maybe Scott, Scott should have lost. Forfeited. Based on his own words. I definitely proposed that, and Scott was not a fan. <laughs> he wanted to possibly wait to make my fucking 100 days a little longer. But instead, he, he sacked up, and he's like, all right, we'll play. We'll try it again. No, no, no. I, I played a mental game with Gage where I said, I'm not playing this game right now. I'm going to wait. And Gage says, no, 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 dude. Let's just play it. And I was like, all right, fine. So I cooked up a coup that I had the, so the already smoker feels like going. He owes you one. So I cooked up the coup, that, and I said, I have the smoker going. So I'm going to go check that real quick, and then I'll be right back. Knowing that Gage was going to sit there and wait for me. He dried right? his chicken, so he actually had the short end of that stick. So who really lost? So I go check the chicken, whatever. The chicken was like, You say check or done. choke? <laughs> choke chicken, and I check the chicken. And then Did you wash your hands? Because no. we know that you've had some Absolutely issues with like, not, not washing your hands. Cross against, contamination. Yeah, getting some things in your eyes. Cross contamination is still a thing in 2021. 2020 did not kill cross contamination. So, um,. Go pull the chicken off, whatever, fucking do my thing, come back. It was like, what, a couple minutes, two, three minutes? Felt like an hour. Lifetime, yeah. So then we start game number two. Game number two begins. And I want to be clear here. (laughs) I made sure to text in the butthole group chat that I wanted Gage to give me his best shot. I didn't want this pity fucking Star Lamar feeling bad they had to play again, so he's going to let Brandon win. I didn't want that bullshit. I said, Gage, give me your best shot. Gage's Rage has still not read a text message in the butthole group chat since 2020. So, <laughs> this message was not relieved to Gage's Rage. But I did tell you on mic, give me your best shot. You did say that. No And I appreciated that. And I brought it. The game totally changed. I was going to be receiving the ball at half. Yep. And I think you didn't score your first drive. Sure. It was It was totally different. It was and a I scored. Game. I it was. Oh, yeah, you were watching? You guys had it live streaming, and I tuned in, and I ended up watching three hours worth of these two fuckers play because they couldn't figure their shit out. Because no, Madden, Madden couldn't figure, couldn't figure shit, shit out. out. It wasn't us. We were just fine. So the game is rolling, and I had finally, after about a two and a half hours of getting my ass whipped by Scott's defensive strategy, adapted, started calling some good plays, and I was hitting him where he wasn't. There were some good plays that were working for me, countering what you were doing. And I was I was confident. My confidence in the second game versus the first game, t- ten time. Okay, and then I would hope so. I mean, it was fucking. My close day game. goes bad, from bad to worse. From bad to worse. Yeah. My older brother, who has got a Madden curse, that's a curse of all curses. He didn't carry Madame Zeroni up the island. No, the no. Mountain. Yeah, he's going to make sure he's sitting at the bottom of that island with a gun and making sure I can't bring Zeroni up. Cause... Fucking Stanley Yelnitz over there. Yeah, he. no, I'm Stanley, and he's the fucking, he's the dude you that got, got it. cut with the snake venom fingernail polish. He's that, he's... Pre- uh, oh, uh, Sue. No, it's Mary? Phyllis. What the is girl? The guy, the, the girl name. The guy who's, yeah, I thought... <sighs> Nancy. I didn't know Nancy was a man's name. It ain't. <laughs> is that what it is? It's is it Nancy. Nancy? <laughs> oh, man. Holes reference again. But uh, my brother comes in and... <sighs> Just roll the tape. Okay. So Gage is pulling up the YouTube live video that we have on the Butthole YouTube page, which you can go watch after this podcast to see the whole game. 
This is where it goes real wrong for Gage. So it's a second down and 10. I'm on the 30-yard line, and I just ran the ball. And I'm running two clocks. I got the ball with five minutes left. I have taken out three minutes of time right now. And it's a play before my brother had walked in the room. We've got the snap coming up. And I just throw... Yeah, no! 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 The biggest play of the entire game. The biggest play of the game. The linebacker for the corner is so stupid. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are officially the most fucking madman. Clinch the victory in Madden. I got a pizza delivery. I'm literally driving with less than two minutes. You stop on the touchdown call, Scott. Sorry. As we come up on a big third down. I mean, I enjoy the scream. Do you hear it? I'm talking to my brother in the background. He just walked in the room, and I throw no! the worst pass of the whole game. The biggest play of the entire game. The biggest play of the game. The linebacker for the corner. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You are officially the worst walking madman in the whole fucking world. I was literally driving with less than two minutes to win it. Uh, onside kick! Onside kick! Chaz, I literally cannot explain. The older or younger brother? <laughs> he is my older brother. <laughs> Scott, onside kick! Onside kick! Okay. Just trying to rub salt in the wound. We'll go back to another worst day in Gage's <laughs> life. The Madden onside kick. My brother in Madden 2002 was not a sports fan, but he figured out how to hit the perfect power on an onside kick that literally was undefendable. You could play onside kick recovery. You could man up on any single player. The way he kicked this ball went into this perfect gap, stopped, and he could recover it every fucking time. Once he figured this out, and it's been in 2002. Like, this was... Full of flaws. Full of flaws. He fucking scored 100 plus on me, made me cry my ass off when I was about six. It It was bad. It was really bad. So the Madden onside kick thing... That hits close to home. Dude, did I he make walks... you cry when I put up the Hunter Burger? No, that was... I didn't even care. I Dude. stopped you from getting into the 110. So Gage does this a... thing... <laughs> Gage does this thing where when he's getting blown out, he doesn't give a fuck. But when it's a close game, you can really rip his fucking soul out. <laughs> Scott, you didn't win that game. My brother lost me that game. Right, that well... is what happened there. He walks into the room on my five-minute drive to take the lead and win the game. And I throw a pick. Uh, okay. How many pass attempts did I have on that drive? I just want to. I just want to say really quick, Gage. Maybe. It was a really bad pick. It was horrible. I was laughing at my brother who's making jokes about how I'm gonna lose, and I lost. I was so fucking furious. Okay, that's fair. I'll take the dub. When have you guys gotten an onside kick in this Madden yet? Nope. I know somebody who has. I do too. Against me. Oh wait. I Star think got I, one. I got one against you too. You might have. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Brandon's the susceptible one. Starlevar got one when he needed it. Was Brandon doing onside recover? Yes, he was. Yeah, I was. Oh, shit. You want to know why it's susceptible against me? Because you guys are playing from behind and you have to onside kick. I don't onside kick against you. Yeah, down by 14 with like two minutes left in the game or so. Something like that. Three minutes scored. You do realize that kicking onside kicks doesn't make you better at recovering them? No, but if you kick them more often, you have a better chance of recovering them. Just saying. Just saying. I probably had the longest uh, um, possession time against you of leading, actually, of all of us. Probably. Because both games I played, well, the one I played you in wasn't that great, but the game before that, I played, I think I was ahead most of the game. It, yeah, it was pretty Or it was at least that. going back and forth. But did you win, though? No. <clears throat> I did what Gage did, but I'm not going to blame it on anybody because I'm not a bitch. I lost the game myself. Dude, if I... I didn't lose that game. <laughs> God. <laughs> Like that. I did. Comments, I guys? did a thing where I, you know, like I tried to make a play against you, and it just didn't fucking work, Brandon. You that beat me. You played me better sick. than me, Scott. You didn't deserve to win that game. I don't care if you say I deserved it. I didn't deserve. It. I fucking won it. That's all that Madden. That's all that matters in Madden. Dude. I'm getting you next time. Dubs and I L's for sure. And you took that L real fat. I'm gonna get you a fucking 150 rushing yards, three scores. You're done. Okay, Brandon, go put that on the board. Let's remember that. No, it, 150 it's, and 3. It's it's here. It's on Yeah, it's on a podcast. I don't need to live. put it anywhere. That's week fine. Week 14 showdown. Yeah, also, Star and I played week 1. It was a pretty good game. It ended better than the actual game. I threw three picks. You threw yeah. zero. I don't know how I was in it at the end. But that I was. That was my first interception of the game. 
Yeah, got the onside Four recovery. One interception. Drove all the way down. He got a very key sack on me to make me lose my last timeout before I got the first goal. He's like goal. within the five. Yeah, so I'm I'm within the five, but I have to throw because if I get tackled and the thing clock's running out, there's 14 seconds left. He's bringing it. He gets to me as I'm releasing it on the first play, incomplete pass, brings it again the second time, gets to me. The ball's like doing one of those floaters in the air. My receiver runs back to it and catches it. He just lets it hit the ground. I get one more shot. I'm at the one-yard line, catches it inbounds, goes to the ground, game over. That's a hell of a game. Brandon's good at the goal line defense when it matters most, red zone defense. That timeout would have been huge because then yeah. I could have ran one. That's not what I could have done. That on sack the came up big, and I was thinking the entire time he's driving down there, I'm playing like softer defense. Like, ah, fuck it. If he scores, he's gonna tie it up, and then we'll go into overtime. Not a big deal. And then as he gets into like the twenty yard, I'm like, this motherfucker's gonna go for two. Hundred percent would have gone for he's two. He's gonna go for two. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have to I, I was... defend the two point conversion, and I'm gonna come down to possibly losing week one by one fucking point. And that ain't gonna happen. And this is how you know that my level of Concern for that game was not high. I invited him to chat. He did. I was on like my fourth cocktail of the night. Started yeah, as we do that. It yeah. was week one, and I was like, whatever, let's just play to get this game all out of the way. Win or lose, I'll still booze. Doesn't matter. It was week one. I'm going to make the playoffs regardless. God, I wish I could have that kind of confidence. One day, Scott. You got to beat those computers. Well, what's frustrating for me is the first five weeks, I play four computer games. It's not no, frustrating four user if you games. just win them. Well, yeah, but I mean, what's nice when, is you get a chance to get your team kind of... When you play in. computer, you can figure dialed out in. your team. For user games, you play in the first five weeks. Yes, sorry. Okay, yeah. so your schedule went star, computer, Scott. Star, Scott. Jesus, you're out of the way with us in the first five weeks? And then I play gauge. It goes gauge 15, computer, gauge 17. Wow. That's fuck. Gage has a gauntlet on the last part of the season. Then nah, you play me week fourteen, Brandon I am, I am week fifteen, scared. week sixteen computer, and week seventeen Brandon. You might play me week sixteen. Sounds like four wins for who? In total, I mean, somebody's gonna win those games. Right? I'm calling your brother Curtis, and I'm gonna say, "Go to Gage's room right now." <laughs> it, Scott, I'm said kick. Good Chaz, what a stud. Oh, what a fuck. It is frustrating <laughs> when you're trying to play a game. So next time Gage there, plays... Um, ear, I can't stand it. Yeah. Next time Gage During, plays... During, like, literally the biggest drive of the whole fucking game. Scott gets that luck. Uh, back when we used to play the old Maddens, that's, Paige would call me in the Super Bowl while we're playing. That was one Super Bowl. Well, it's the only one I lost. That's not true. <laughs> Don't fact check that. That was one you lost. Um, God, I was so pissed. Next time that you play a user game that's in Madden, are you going to lock your door? Makes <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Because <laughs> also during the first game, Violet, uh, my niece, had come up a few times and told me I didn't really listen because my headset was on. But she she was trying to say it's just a game. Did she even? Why know? are you yelling, Uncle Gage? <laughs> Calm down. It was pretty loud. I'll say that. <laughs> Gage's it, rage was definitely out. That's what Paige told me too. When I was playing my computer game, I let up a touchdown before I scored, and I was like. I'm like, motherfucker, what, why is this happening to me? She's like, Brandon, it's just a game. Calm down. I was like, don't tell me it's just a game. Oh, then I go up 35 worse. to 7. What do you, what's the worst thing you could just say to someone that's upset? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, my God. It's that not never, that big of a deal. I do works. it all the time, though. It's like when my I, favorite thing. I know the reaction it's going to get, and I think that's why I do it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, totally. just calm down. It's not that big a deal. Or Relax. I had the fuck out. some bullshit in my first computer game this year. They ran a fake punt on me. I've never had the computer run a fake punt on me. Oh, fuck. Went for it. And I think I was texting you guys when prior to the half, they got a 75-yard touchdown in one play, and then a pick six on the next play. So they scored 14 points in 14 seconds yeah. right before the half. And then I was doing pretty well. And then on uh, fourth and... 10 or something like that, they're punting. The computer roughs the punter. Like, multiple seconds after it, I was not controlling the person. Just ran straight into him. Gives him the first down. I was like, they're going to make me lose this game. Yeah, that was them trying to cost you the game. Madden does that, dude. Where, like, there's some games, it just doesn't your go your way. Yeah. I got a, I got a pick with Greedy. You got the dub, after though, right? That, I did get the dub. I think I ended up winning by 14. I think I scored and then got a pick six on their last drive, so... 
Nice. There are legit some games where the computer doesn't matter what you do. Everything can be going right, and you're going to get a holding penalty on a touchdown, or yep. they're going to get some sort of like tipped pass interception or whatever the deal is. It sucks. Just Your enough goes wrong that it ends up either making the game way closer than it should be, or you end up losing because you make one mistake or something. And my other butthole beef, oh, we no. had selected these teams, right? And I had the number one pick because I'm clearly the worst player. And I choose the CLC Hawks just because the stadium and whatnot. There's no way to reset the franchise. Draft Even though we're drafting talking. and everything, so my first pick gets me zero first round picks in the next two years. Your first draft? No, I don't get the next draft either. No, I. But you're saying you're. Yeah, my number yeah. one pick should have been the last pick for this shitty division. You should have had like what seventeen or something like that. No, you made it to the playoffs, so you would have been better than Scott. Yeah, but not much better. Twenty, twelve. But hey, it's better though, right? Eighteen. I mean, who finished higher last season? Twenty two, I, mean, I think, bud. Well, there are, no, because there's 12 this year, teams. Yeah, there's yeah. more. 14. 14, yeah. So I would have, and I lost the first round, so I would definitely be in. Men's Health 18, Awareness 19, Month, Gage. I'm here yeah, for Yeah, right there. I mean, I probably would have had just one worse pick than Scott. I would have whooped his ass in the standings, but I would have been in the first round. <sighs> I'm getting tired of hearing you fucking cluck your feathers. <laughs> when you guys play in the playoffs? A long time. Week 15, yeah, it's forever oh, ago. a long time. I feel like Gage and I do have the strongest rivalry right now of everybody because that dude can't handle losing to me for some reason. I don't like losing, period. It's not just you. He feels like he's better than me or something, which is no. totally not true. We all know it's we not true. We split it last year. I made the playoffs and you didn't. And you play the game like a lot <laughs> more than me. I do play it more than you, yeah. But I don't like play play. I just GM it. I play a lot of GM or I just sim and fucking manage. What the fuck does that mean? It means I play Madden a lot. Uh, yeah, I play quite a bit, actually. Yeah, you guys were all talking about your side pieces, your other franchises, and I was like, oh, okay, Let's see how it is. Yeah, I do. Uh, I have a Chargers all Madden franchise that I'm running with Justin Herbert and stuff. That one's fun. Do you tweak sliders at all so it's actually reasonable? Nah, I've just been rolling with it. I just want to see how I can do an all Madden. Isn't the fucking, like, is it still brutal for tackling the running backs and shit? Like, it- do they always... No, it hasn't been so bad. I'm, Maybe it's more realistic now than I'm it used to be. Four and one or five and one. one it used two. to be where you fucking played all Madden. Like it was unrealistic. You could throw Rock Thomas back there, and he'd break every tackle. Yeah. Last time I played all Madden was oh five. Well, when you play against me, it's like all Madden. That's why I don't care. <laughs> But you didn't score one ten though. I'm trying to think if there was one other thing I was going to. No, bring you up. didn't get your rushing touchdowns. That's, that's what, what it was. was yeah. <laughs> that's all I got. I think. As soon as I put up a hundred on him, he's like, "Yeah, I bet you can't get one ten. I'm like, "No fucking shit." There's 17 seconds left. Of course, you can't get one ten. <laughs> no, your whole goal was to upgrade that guy's dev trait, and you didn't get it. Hey, he's a superstar now. Gage's Gage D. Rage. Wait, you say Gage's D? What? My pizzazz. <laughs> But with that, go drink Well, hold on. Don't we have the, the trivia game? Nope, I didn't bring it this week. You said it's always in your bag. Yeah, because it is. It's right here. <laughs> we don't want to play, though. I'm pissed at football. I love the trivia game. It's my favorite game of the week. It's like why I even come here. I mean, it's my house. But it's why I even let you guys come here. Well, that's why I let Scott come here. You don't fucking let me come here. I just show up. That's why I don't lock my doors. All right. Time no, for some football don't. trivia. Campbell, he definitely locks his doors. Your name is your buzzer. First one to get three correct wins. Football <laughs> trivia. And here we go. First question of the night. You can- How many yards wide is a standard football? Tyler. It was Tyler. 45 yards. That's incorrect. Brandon was second if he wants it. Otherwise, he can hand it over to Gage. What? He has to take it. We discussed this last week. He has to take it. Okay, because Gage is throwing a temper tantrum. Yeah, he this has was, to take we, it. We had this discussion two weeks ago, and it wasn't we had to take it. It was Star had the choice to finish the question or pass it on to you. It was reverse. I had to answer or Star could listen to the whole question. So you have to answer or I can listen to the whole question. The whole That's question, what I just said. The whole question's done, bro. Uh, 35. That's incorrect. 53 and a half. Gage's Rage with one. Yes! 
53 and a half 53 yards. 53 and a half yards wide as a standard football oh, field. I would have never gotten that. It used to be an old college football quiz question. Mm. Cheater, cheater. No, like from fucking NCAA 10 or 9. Deep diving stats <laughs> cheater. I, 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 you saw him peek at it. I did see him oh peek my, at it. I can't read fucking that far away. That's fair. You can't even read. <laughs> question <laughs> number two for the night. I can't even read. Which NFL team is named after its first coach? Gage is ready. Start. Gage. Before the Niners. Incorrect. The Browns. Star Lamar with the Cleveland Browns. I was rolling one next. I knew it was the Browns. To one to zero. You got zero still. What? I'm not asking that question because that's a fucking I thought you left point. this game at home. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who wanted to play. This is bullshit. It makes me sick. Right. Sick. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Question number three. Which team is named after an Edgar Allan Poe? Brandon. Brandon. The Baltimore Ravens. Star. Nails it. Brandon so it, make sure I was in is on the head. board. <laughs> one to one to one. There was a Poe question last week. Tied up. Yeah, it was. The names of the Ravens. And you got so lucky guessing that. You're question just... number four. I just knew it. During a challenge, how long does the referee have to review the play? Gage Ridge. Gage Ridge. Ridge. Incorrect. Brandon. One minute and 30 seconds. Uh, 90 seconds is correct. That's not the same. A minute 30 is the same as 90 no, seconds. No, it's not. It's just 90 seconds. It's not 1.30. Brandon, two, star one, Bullshit. gauge, uno. BST. Next BST. question up. Question number five. Deaf quarterback Paul D. Hubbard is credited for inventing what to hide his hand signals from opposing teams? Three. I'll guess Gage's Ridge. Um, one of the uh, quarterback pouch. Incorrect. Three. Star. Star. Uh, the silent count. That's incorrect. But that's a fucking good guess. Does Brandon want to take a shot at it, or does he want to watch this one? Just of course, I want to take a shot at it. All right. He invented the huddle. Brandon with oh a point. God, this is so stupid. <laughs> that's three. How the fuck That's did game. you did you know that? That's three for Brandon. What? Brandon just housed Edgar there. Allan Poe, 90 seconds, or a minute 30 in layman's turn. And the huddle! Did you just guess that? Well, I mean, it just made sense. Yeah. I, I feel like once these two started guessing, it kind of, like, started connecting the dots a little bit. Man. Congrats, Brandon. What's, how many wins do you have, Gage? GG. Thanks, boy. One? It's 2-1-1? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but who's got two? Go for a week. Is there a reflection least... behind me or something that he's looking at something to see the answers to this? Me? Show? No, Brandon. Yeah, that's right. I think he just Googled that. Just shines off your bald head. <laughs> Wearing a hat, you bitch. All right. Well, that's going to be another bit episode for the butthole. What? Me fucking my bald head? It's, it gets referenced at least once a week. Every third episode. There's been 183 episodes, and 61 of them have had bald head references. And I would take the over if I was betting, actually. Not going to lie. Scott's sitting on about 1,500 bad days. He's been bald for over five years now. Uh, and every day is a blessing. Go drink off. Uh, bye. Check out our website, www.officialbutthole.com. We're on all socials at Official Butthole. Please leave us a rating and review on Apple Music. I didn't know. And we'll see you next time. Bullshit. No, I told them when you went upstairs. So oh. you'll take a test. See, exactly. You guys do still. What were they going to tell you? Bullshit. Yeah, but dude, at that point, at that point, you're Bullshit. not going to fucking say anything to you. It had to, it's. And dude. I had to get your reaction. <laughs> it's for the sake of the bit. You said, you guys repeat some first.